Hello, friends and family. How are you today? Today we're gonna got talk about uh, the royal rituals. Um, the royal rituals. I guess first um, example I'm gonna talk about uh, Prince Harry and his wife. It's just. Recently, Harry and his wife were interviewed by Oprah, and uh, the couple with tears in their eyes talking about, um, uh, you know, all those we went through. We definitely cannot let Megan go through it by herself, and they were holding each other and loving each other. It was a very touching scene. So, I guess the humble and super nice royal couple um, were trying to impress the whole world by by their love stories, and and they definitely were so grateful they have each other. And. Um, another royal ritual was one time on TV, the Denmark prince was meeting a Taiwanese model. They haven't, they haven't met, meet on, on that day. The Denmark prince was trying to pick up his kids. From school, and uh, uh, the twin were gonna sit in a little, um, like 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 a tricycle, and a black tricycle. I would say it wouldn't worth much. Imagine the the royal daddy. Went to pick up his kids from school on a tricycle, in not a Cadillac, not a Ferrari, but a tricycle. Probably every single average person can afford. And the gift that he gave that day was a little pack of oysters. That sounds. Pretty amiable, and um, since the royal life is kind of simple and and not too frugal, but it it is not that luxurious. And of course, today I'm here not to talk about um not to really care about the royal lives. They're not my relatives. They're not my, well, nothing related to me. But I care. I care about some people. Um, this says some people uh, online. They were showing off their cars. Well, that's eighty-two thousand dollars a car, not not for working for Instacart, not for picking up the kids, just for the people to to have fun with. That's a Chinese couple. I guess they earned a lot of money in America, showing off their property. And I guess that guy was called Stone G or something, and he was gonna run for president of China. You know what? On his video, never had any intimacy with his wife, and just except one time, he was showing off a lot of guns 
and he probably pointed that gun to his wife. How scary, lucky that he's married, otherwise no woman would want him. And I guess his wife didn't dare to say anything to him about his bad behavior just because he's such a tyrant. Um, speaking about royal rituals, I would say Prince Harry or Prince of Denmark, I don't know what his name is, they probably set a good example of using humbleness and uh, stewardship and, and a lot of love to, to live a happy life. I don't think that guy with that $82,000 car could find the true happiness. Um, oh well, lucky him he's married, otherwise no woman would look at him. Um, also that guy, I would say, um, with busy uh, consuming that many goods, his face definitely has a really complicated terrain um, that's uh, explored by a lot of uh, probiotics or fun fungi. So uh, unfortunately, he's he looks super duper old for his age. On the bright side, if anybody would say, tell him to stay forever young, they couldn't because he was young. This is all I want to say today. The royal ritual is supposed to be lots of love, stewardship, and humbleness. Thank you for listening. I love you guys. And uh, we're gonna talk about your math and chemistry in some other videos. And I hate it that I have to talk about royal rituals to do today to to use up our family time. That guy with that eighty-two thousand dollar car should pay me big bucks for this time. Oh my gosh, that is a horrible, horrible person. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. And um, stay tuned, stay happy. I'll tell